Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new scanner could lead to major improvements in breast cancer screenings. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Over 200,000 people are diagnosed with breast cancer every year in the United States. Early detection is extremely important in successfully treating the disease. The breast cancer screening process could soon become more accurate and a lot more comfortable for patients thanks to a new device developed at Florida International University. The device is a handheld optical scanner that uses a near-infrared laser to image breast tissue. Besides being less of an ordeal for the patient, the scanner is also capable of imaging the chest wall, which can be difficult using conventional methods. Testing for the scanner is ongoing. The results of the initial study are published in the journal Biomedical Physics and Engineering Express. Next up, researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have achieved what may be a major milestone in 3D bioprinting. Using modified, off-the-shelf, consumer-level 3D printers, a team at Carnegie Mellon's College of Engineering was able to reproduce the structure of coronary arteries and embryonic hearts using soft materials. This is accomplished by printing into a support gel, which can then be melted away, leaving the printed structure intact. While this is not yet the same thing as 3D printing with actual cells to create real living organs, it is a significant step toward that goal, showing that a relatively inexpensive 3D printer can be adapted to print structures using not just plastic or metal, but soft materials is a necessary and very exciting proof of concept. The study is published in the journal Science Advances, and the Carnegie Mellon team is releasing the design for their 3D bioprinter under an open source license. You can find out more at regenerativebiomaterials.com. And finally, theoretical astrophysicists in Munich have created the most comprehensive simulation of the evolution of the universe ever made. The computer simulation is part of the Magneticum Pathfinder project. It was made to help astrophysicists understand the large-scale development of the universe and how the most recognizable structures of the universe, such as planets, stars, galaxies, and so on, were able to form from the initial conditions that resulted from the Big Bang. It consists of 180 billion elements and represents a spatial area of 12 billion light years. The simulation also accounts for the estimated influences of dark matter and dark energy, but the main reason why it's a big deal is that it's so big. The largest simulation of its kind, so large that it can be compared with actual large-scale astronomical surveys. Papers on the Magneticum Pathfinder simulation are published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society and the Astrophysical Journal, and the data from the simulation has been made available to others for further research. A new scanner could help improve breast cancer screenings. Researchers use an inexpensive 3D printer to advance the development of bioprinting, and theoretical astrophysicists create the largest computer simulation of the universe ever. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, consider helping me to make more videos like this by supporting the channel through Patreon. You can go to www.patreon.com slash steveshives to learn more. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're done.